Hi, I'm Bryce Button, Director of Marketing at AJ Video Systems, and welcome to IBC 2018. Uh, we're here with a great slew of new products and updates based around some key themes. Uh, on the IP front, we have a couple of new mini converters, the IPR 10G2s. There's an SDI version and there's a, a HDMI version. And these are built to receive uh, ST2110 video over IP and to put that out to HDMI and SDI devices. They have two cages for media, so these are two gig cages, which allows hitless switching. Effectively, you've got the ability to have redundancy. So if you've got a problem on one signal path, the other will back you up. On the 3G SDI side, it puts out two mirrored 3G SDI ports, and the video is mirrored along that, so it's exactly the same video from the original stream. The HDMI version can actually support Ultra HD up to 30p, and the SDI version up to 60p. So that's part of our continuing growing IP rollout. Uh, these mini receivers work with NMOS, also with Ember Plus, so when it comes to control and discovery, uh, this is the way it's handled. On the 12G SDI front, uh, we have a brand new Kona 5 I.O. card. And this offers four bi-directional 3G SDI ports. Of course, the benefit of 12G SDI is you're able to handle high raster, deep color, HDR signals across a single cable. Uh, so this is a really beneficial card for what folks need today, working with this higher resolution material. It also has a full size HDMI 2.0 port on it. And with that, you can, of course, play out your 4K Ultra HD with HDR materials on very affordable monitors. On the HDR front itself, we've come out with version 2.6 firmware for the FSHDR, which is our real-time uh, HDR, SDR, color transform engine, including obviously white color gamuts in 2020. Uh, what you get with this new release is you get the ability to do a number of great things. One is you can upload your own 3D cube LUTs, so the system will store and recall up to 10. We've got four new BBC HLG LUTs, which is going to help broadcasters immensely. Uh, the color transform engines from Colorfront also includes now an ARRI C-Log output, which is really great, uh, and a huge bunch of enhancements there. With our Control Link software that we brought out a little earlier this year, which works with the FSHDR, allows you to work with a tangent control panel, you can actually control multiple units now. So if you think about this, you're actually going to be able to take four FSHDRs and handle 8K. So we just continue to build on this box and expand it. So now that we're at that point where we've got a lot of transforms going, a lot of SSHDRs have gone into the market in the last year, you really need a good way to analyze all this. So we're thrilled to let you know that the HDR image analyzer has now been announced as a full-on product. So what this will do for you is it'll allow you to QC, master, check during production, post-production to make sure that you are directly exposing, et cetera, and mastering within the color space that you want to go to. So whether you're going out HLG, SDR, or Rec 2020, or P3 space, you've got proper measuring and analysis tools. You've got knit level counts, as you'll see on the screens around me, up to 1,000. You can adjust a lot of settings. You can store and recall. Uh, you can, of course, generate automatic logs if you need to send that out to the rest of the team. We've also done some nice updates for our Keeper Ultra Plus um, digital recorder and player, uh, version 4. Things like the ability to force rollover from one recording media drive to another. Think about this, you've got a live event, something's coming up, you're concerned about space or you want to get the first drive off and take it elsewhere to start editing with, you can just click on the slot button, hold it down for a while, it will automatically swap the recording to the second slot, take out that media from the first slot and away you go. Uh, some updates for the Hilo streaming device, including RTMPE support for Facebook Live and HTTPS support so that you cover for more security needs. So there's a lot to learn about here. They're great products. 
Uh, I encourage you to go to aja.com. You'll find from the homepage there's a link to what's new so you can gather all the information in one place. We've also introduced newer solution pages, so adding to our HDR solutions page, Thunderbolt. There's now one on fiber if you're trying to get your head around your fiber options. Uh, and we also have one for streaming. So thanks very much for joining us, and I hope you'll go to the website and learn a lot more. AJA.com. Thank you.